Hi, this is Ryan Bisey, and today I'm going to review a couple of Hasbro Black Series figures with the Death Squad Commander, Tusken Raider, and Lando Calrissian. So today we're going to have a little bit of a look at some Hasbro action figures that have come out more recently, the 6-inch Black Series set, um, that are a little bit new. It's not something I've reviewed on these before. There's a couple figures that have come out recently, too, that I have not picked up yet, so I can't review them yet. But I think I'd go through these three, the Death Squad Commander, the Tusken Raider, and Lando Calrissian. So here is our Death Squad Commander. Um, you know, I never found these all that interesting even as a kid with the gray uniform. I thought it was kind of a boring figure. The nice thing here is his helmet does come off. Um, kind of good to see. Uh, he's got a holster for his blaster, full articulation, and his costume isn't all that uh, <laughs> amazing. The likeness isn't, we're not going for anybody specific. I'm assuming this is fairly generic or maybe a Hasbro employee, who knows. Um, we got the Imperial emblem there, and the rest is just a black uniform. Nothing too exciting, but really glad to get him just because it's part of that first 12, so it's kind of cool to be able to have this and add him into the collection. So next we have Lando Calrius in here, and I know some of the early pictures I saw of him made it look like he had a really large head. It doesn't look as large in person. There's a lot of great detail on this figure I'd like to go through. I know when they debuted him at Comic-Con last year, they talked a lot about his cape. So let's break down some of the details on him here. So first, it's a decent likeness. It's not perfect of Billy D, but I mean, we can all imagine it's Lando. One of the nice things I found is that he's got his little communicator watch, if I can get it in focus here. Uh, this kind of nice little detail to add to him. Uh, his blouse looks nice. Pants are good. He's got a little bell-bottom type things. Um, back, there's not much there. So let's look at the detail on this cape, since we heard so much about this at Comic-Con last year. They said they'd found the original pattern, and so they were able to duplicate that. Uh, I know some people wish this was a cloth cape. I think it looks rather nice as a plastic cape. We have his gun, standard. And he even comes with his little tiny communicator device to tell the people of Cloud City that they need to evacuate. So grab your ice cream makers and run. Finally, we have the Tusken Raider here and a lot of detail that goes into him. Uh, of course, great articulation as with the Black Series. Just looking at the detail they put into him with his outer cloth robes, it's frayed around the back and everything. Um, in the package, it's actually tucked into the plastic robes that are underneath here. Uh, very well done figure. Take a look at the um, sculpt here on the face. And he comes with some different accessories. We have his rifle, and then we have two different ends that we can add to his gaffy stick. So you can have all the different gaffy sticks that, the, that there are to be made. Um, this is an awesome figure. I could see people wanting to uh, troop build him or whatever. Uh, it's definitely a cool figure. I'm glad that they're re-releasing this in the regular Black Series boxes. So that's my look at a couple of Black Series figures from Hasbro. If you have any questions, please put them below, and you can always leave your comments about what else you would like to see me review. I've got a couple more reviews coming here if you're interested, but feel free to leave in the comments, and feel free to subscribe to my channels. I will continue to do reviews, especially with the new product upcoming. Thank you.